Okay, so most appropriate empiric antibiotic therapy. So yeah, infectious question, you just gotta know which antibiotics you wanna use. Mm -hmm. 28 year old woman, she has a mitral valve prolapse. She presents to the PCP, fever, chills, worsening, murmur. She recently underwent a dental procedure 10 days ago on exam. Her temperature is 38.5, systolic murmur at the apex. Blood clutches are drawn, and what's the empiric antibiotic therapy for this patient has clearly an infective endocarditis? Um, I mean, you definitely want to cover for like the most common causes, right? Like all the streps and then maybe the staph aureus, things like that. Um, and then some gram negative coverage for the HASIC organisms. I think, I think ceftriaxone and vancomycin, that's like, I know you'd use that for meningitis for sure. I think that's the best answer in this case. I'm not too confident, but I'm like 60, okay. 70% confident. Okay, final answer. Yeah. So this one's kind of interesting here, right? And so um, it is an infectocarditis, right? But you got to have some kind of gram negative in there, right? Ceftriaxone is okay. It has some gram negative, but it doesn't have a great ton, right? Vank is good for gram positives, right? Um, but really, in, when you're talking about this kind of infectocarditis, right, you're really talking about strep viridans in particular, right? Kind of your strep viridans and your your um, gram um grim negative, like anaerobe stuff. Right. And so you definitely want gent in there for sure. Um, I mean, it seems like, right. When they're, when you're talking about kind of this in particular, I, I just know that ampicillin is used a lot when you're dealing with like dental procedures, you don't really use Ceph a lot. I'm not sure if this is more of a experience thing. I don't know exactly the reason why, but it's always amp and gent, but gent, AMP is always used almost for all like dental stuff, right? Like dentists, when they're doing kind of root canals, things like that, if they want to give antibiotics, it's always a penicillin, right? And then if you want to cover like really good gram negative, then a gent here is going to be very good for that. And also, if you remember um, in Sketchy a long time ago, right? Remember, um, gent gentamicin will work better, right? If it has a penicillin. So something to think about. Okay. Because I knew, I know... Ampicillin, gentamicin, I think that's like the treatment for neonatal sepsis too. Mm -hmm. 